Senge's learning organization theory is based on his book. His book was called The Fifth Discipline. So basically there's five disciplines, or our textbook calls them principles, same thing, about what makes a learning organization. This is so hard to remember. There is so much to do in this little topic here. Uh, and it's just one topic of many we've got to do for the year. So to sort of before we go into each of these five disciplines in detail, we're going to learn with an acronym and maybe an analogy, and we're going to compare it to a sports team. Okay, so Senge's theory specifies five principles or disciplines that underpin the learning organization. Number one, mental models. Two, building a shared vision. Three, personal mastery, four, team learning, five, systems thinking. Now, I've highlighted each of those letters because we're going to turn that into an acronym to help us remember. We're going to remember that as most valuable player in team sports. Now, that's a reasonably easy acronym to remember. And to remember it, we're going to pick, personify it with a person. Now, you don't need to be into basketball or sports at all, but we're just going to pick Steph Curry from the Golden State Warriors, a two-time most valuable player in the NBA. So he is the most valuable player in team sports. And the reason we're going to pick Steph Curry is that we're going to try and apply these five steps or five principles to the Golden State Warriors, the team he plays for. Now, again, you don't need to be a sports expert, so I'll just give you a bit of a history here. He plays for a franchise called the Golden State Warriors. And basically, for 17 years, they made the playoffs, or what we would call the finals in footy in Australia, once. So they were a bit of a basket case. Very successful in the 1970s, but since then, it was basically 30, 35 years of nothing. Okay? And the classic big market in a really good city, actually two cities that kind of next to each other, San Francisco and Oakland, but a bad team. Doesn't make sense. If you're in a big city, you should be good. So in 2010, they were sold for $450 million, which is a lot of money to this guy, this management consultant called Jay, Joe Lacob. He's a sort of investment strategy and venture capitalist and part of a group, but he's sort of the main guy. Um, and what, what's changed since then? Well, they basically made the playoffs every year, except for a couple of years uh, with injury, but they've won three championships since then. But from a business perspective, and these are businesses, we can use these as great case studies. When he bought it for $450 million in 2010, it is now worth $4.7 billion. It's one of the most recognizable franchises in professional sports. So what did he do? Well, the Golden State Warriors are a great example, and Steph Curry, of a learning organization. Why? Well, we've got five principles. The first one is M for mental models. What's that? That's where you challenge old assumptions. We'll go into the details of each in separate videos, but for now we'll say... Challenge the old assumptions about how you win at basketball. The current thinking was you need a dominant big man, which is called a center, a big seven foot tall person to win championships in the NBA, or you need to have Michael Jordan, but that's like a, a once in a 200 year event. That'll never happen for a while. Um, so we can see like, these are seven foot players on championship teams. Akeem Elijah won 94, 95. Tim Duncan, David Robinson in San Antonio, championships 99, 2003, 2005, 2007. The Lakers with Shaq. And also Miami, uh, 2000, 2001, 2002. So basically, you need a big man to be a good team. Look, there's exceptions in, in different years. But overall, that's how you win. Well, let's challenge that assumption. And in fact, the Golden State Warriors have adopted what's called analytics. They said the most valuable shot in basketball isn't this shot in here near the basket for a dunk or a layup. That's what big seven-footers do. That is not the most important or the best shot. The best shot is actually this three-point shot around here you get one more point for a shot here than you do here and basically the data says we should never take a shot anywhere else except for three pointers and right in here nothing around here i mean it will still happen but you know for in the main part we don't encourage those shots so we challenge the mental models about what what makes a basketball team good then they built a shared vision what does that mean you've got to create a vision for how this team will play and how the business will run. Let's apply it to the Golden State Warriors. They said, we're going to be a team that wins because we shoot the most three-pointers and we're the best at it. We'll have some dunks and layups too. But we're a smart business that uses data and analytics to make profits. So it went from $450 million to $4.7 billion. They're smart, shared vision. And the vision was this. If we can just shoot 33% from three-pointers, which isn't too hard, that's pretty easy, that's actually good, like mathematically, is shooting 50% for two-pointers very hard. So they said, let's change the thinking, okay? And now here's our vision of the future. We don't need to shoot 50% from here anymore. It'd be good if we could, but that's hard. We're going to shoot 33% from this three-point range. So it's sort of sharing a vision for the future for everyone to look at. Then personal mastery, you've got to have that. That's our P. What does that mean? That means that each player has to fit into the system. Like they've got to be, you know, they've got to have a role. 
and their role helps the business achieve, but also they've got to want to get better and they've got to, you've got to help them get better to continually work on their skills and improve themselves. So what did they do? Well, that you recruit, if you want to shoot a lot of three pointers, you draft people who can shoot three pointers, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson. If you want to have a team that sort of creates a lot of passing and opportunities for three pointers, you recruit big men who can rebound, defend, but also pass. So, uh, first of all, they got rid of their most popular player in about 2011, I think, Monte Alice. And he was good, but he was the king of these bad shots, these shots in between the basket and the three. But we don't want those anymore. They're bad. They're not. Statistics say that's not a good shot. He's gone. I actually traded for Andrew Bogut. This is called David Lee, Draymond Green, Andre Iguodala, all big guys who can defend, except for David Lee, uh, rebound, but also they're all terrific passers. How do you get good three-point shots? You need passers. So we've got people who fit the system. Now, also, you get got to get your people to work on their skill set a lot. So if you want to watch something, go to YouTube, search Steph Curry pre-game warm-up. It's unbelievable. He does that each and every game, but also at training. And it's one of the coolest things you'll ever see. He works so hard. He's a master at ball handling and shooting. What else do we need to do as part of learning organizations? So we've got people being their best individually, personal mastery, but we also need team learning. What's that? That's where we develop a method to implement this new way of playing, three-point shots and also dunks at the basket. And we get the players to train together so they can implement it. What do we do there? Well, we have a lot of training sessions. Here's the coach, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson. Uh, but we also, we've got to come up with a system, like an offensive system that encourages people to pass, work as a team and create three point shots and have some dunks and layups. How do we get the players to learn that system? Well, they've got to train together and then everybody plays their role. Not, we can't all shoot like Steph Curry. So you've got to know your role. Know your role, play your role. Great saying. So Steph Curry, his role is playmaking, passing, creating, shooting. He's not a good defender. That's okay. We've got Clay Thompson's a great defender. Plus he can also shoot. We've got big guys that good at different things. Draymond Green's good at defense, rebound and passing. Andre Iguodala is like one of the best defensive players in the league. He's also good at playmaking and passing. And uh, David Lee is a great rebounder. Not a good defender though, but a great passer and a great playmaker. And also, so if David Lee's not a good defender, that's why we've got Andrew Bogut, because he's a great defender. And he's also an exceptional passer for his size. So all the bits fit, all the bits work together. Everyone's good at their own thing. Know your role, play your role, and work together. And lastly, we've got this S for systems thinking. What is that? That is where we view the change as business-wide. Okay, it's not just that there's a basketball team. A basketball team is only part of a business, a professional sports team, any, any code. The team's a part of it, but everyone's a part of it. There's a big system. So how can we apply that to a professional basketball team? Yes, the players are the most important thing, but all these changes or this learning organization, it's business-wide. So what did they do? Well, they hired a really smart executive called Bob Myers. He's what's called an analytics guy. He's kind of like one of the guys that got in on the ground level of this philosophy. We've got to have the people that represent what we want to do in our business. What else? They hired a coach, Steve Kerr, this guy here. His philosophy, he'd never coached before, but his philosophy, he played for other coaches where it's passing, teamwork, defense, and creating shots for others have always been the focus. Then we changed the brand and the image, little things. It's a business-wide thing. These low, I hate these jerseys. I reckon they look awful. Some people like them. But those jerseys were when the Warriors were bad, from like the mid-90s to the early 2010s. Get rid of that. We actually changed the logo and the jerseys to this. You might recognize this if you've followed the NBA recently. That's actually the old logo, pretty much, and the old jerseys from the 70s when we were good. Just a little change. It's system-wide, not just the players, not just the coach, but also the jerseys. And lastly, they built a brand new stadium in San Francisco. It's a more affluent place than Oakland. It's actually right next to each other, but a little difference. All the big tech companies like Facebook and Google and Apple, they're based in San Francisco. So now we are too. System-wide change. So this is a really big program. So we've got five things. Okay, how are we going to remember that? Well, we're going to try and condense it to the acronym Mental Models Building a Shared Vision for Personal Mastery, Team Learning and Systems Thinking. And we're going to try and remember it by using the basketball analogy or any sport most valuable player team sports, and for us, that's Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors.